year old man after investigators say he escaped home confinement where he was allegedly in custody for his involvement in the attempted murder and the paralyzing of a UNO student. And as Rob Masson reports, the victim's family is relieved after an incident which they say should have been avoided. A man accused of the attempted murder and paralyzing of a UNO student is back at the Orleans Justice Center after a rearrest that involved a number of different agencies. We were able to notify the court at 1201 exactly. We received the copy of the warrant from the court, was able to transmit that to the marshals, NOPD, FBI, and everybody else. And then immediately everybody began moving in different directions, working on getting this guy caught. Less than 24 hours after Tata Say, a man accused of the shooting and paralyzing of UNO student Noah Hansard cut off his electronic monitor and escaped home confinement. Say is back in jail. Well, I mean, obviously I'm happy that he was arrested without incident because there's always the risk of, you know, with, his, with, with what mindset he was in, he could have heard someone that was trying to get him. The Violent Crime Task Force arrested Say at his brother's New Orleans home after a task force member was able to make a family connection. Through our intelligence, we were able to find out that the family did own a business. Um, we were able to go to that business, and at that point, the family was very cooperative. And, uh, in fact, the brother left at that point to locate. Say left behind his wallet and cell phone during his escape, and hence our family members feared he might hurt someone. I mean, and we obviously, you know, stayed home, and we kind of just recused ourselves for a moment there. So it's great. It's great news for everybody that there's no new victims added to the list. On Monday, ASAP release, which has monitors on more than 300 defendants in Orleans Parish, realized that Say had cut his monitor off and moved quickly. Because of the nature of the charges, I immediately contacted um, the task force. I hope they don't try to give him bond again. Like, I don't think he really uh, deserves it. Meantime, Noah Hansard continues going to rehab three times a week and is slowly making progress. Like if I rub like my, where I'm supposed to like not be able to feel like that area in between, if I scratch there, I'm actually able to feel it like kind of radiate down my leg. As he continues to rehab, Hansard will be paying close attention as the case against Tata Se and co-defendant Cruz Matute moves through the courts. Rob Hansard, Fox 8 Local First. Southbound Lane.